The price of silver and gold are struggling. They are getting clobbered. They are getting annihilated over the last few days. But why? What's the reason for this sudden precipitous drop in the price of gold, and in particular, the price of silver? We need to look at what the Fed is doing and what that's causing in the U.S. dollar and the bond market. That's where we can find the answers. But even more importantly, we want to know what do we have to look forward to as we approach the end of the year and into 2024. Will we see new all-time highs in the gold price? And will we see silver above 30, maybe even $40 next year? Hey, I warned you earlier in the week that this week the Federal Reserve was going to have not less than six speakers, including Jerome Powell himself, and that they would be coming out with all kinds of hawkish bravado about how they're going to cool inf inflation, fight inflation, put up a good fight, tighten monetary policy. But we know the Fed is out of real ammunition. Heck, Jamie Dimon himself, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, when he talks People, listen. Did you hear what he said? If you're looking to buy gold, silver, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex, the online precious metals bullion dealer and sponsor of Ron's Basement. I was a happy customer before they offered to support the channel. You'll find they have the best prices, quality, and service. I think Pimbex is best, and you will too. And be sure to tell them that you're from Ron's Basement. He warned that rising rates between 5 and 7% would be much more difficult for the U.S. economy to tolerate than that rise that we had earlier in the year from 3% to 5%. The Fed knows they're in a box. All the top analysts are beginning to recognize that. So what does that mean? The only thing left for the Fed to do is to use verbal jujitsu to try to control inflation. Also, everybody knows that mathematically, the only option for the Fed, the only option for our U.S. government who has mismanaged the country's finances horrifically for decades, the only option is to inflate the debt away. Otherwise, they're going to crash everything. And you know that the powers that be don't want that any more than the average American family like you and me. Now, what is this doing to the silver price and gold price? It's applying downward pressure, partly because temporarily it's making the U.S. dollar go up in value. You got to remember, when we're talking about the dollar, we're talking about relative strength. The dollar related to or relative to the Japanese yen or the euro. Guys, those are other cruddy currencies. It's not real strength that we're talking about in the dollar. It's almost like comparing the best three players on your son or daughter's little league baseball or softball team, comparing them to the MVPs in the major leagues. The major league MVP, by the way, that would be silver, gold, and platinum. The other factor pushing down the silver price and gold price is bond yields. The bellwether of them all, the 10-year bond yield, is at a higher rate than it's been in over a decade, reaching 4.55 earlier in the week. Look, the reality is the government, consumers, businesses, anywhere you look, cannot tolerate much higher interest rates. Although when the Fed talks with their hawkish bravado, that has pushed up the rate on the 10-year bond. Now, we can look no further than the TLT ETF, which is a major financial product which, which follows the 20-year bond yield. It has dropped almost 48% in value this year alone. That's a bond fund that is supposed to be a safe investment. 
What does that tell us about the delicacy of the current financial situation? Things have grown out of control, very fragile, and very delicate. And you better believe that Jerome Powell and the other Fed Reserve governors know that this is going on. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada. Springpole in Ontario and Duparquet, located in Quebec, each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. And what does Moody's recent announcement tell us about the delicacy right now of the U.S. economy? They came out and warned that if we have an October 1st government shutdown, that would reflect poorly upon the credit rating of the United States government. And you need to remember that Moody's is the only remaining major credit rating agency that has U.S. government debt rated at a top tier. What else is going on out there? Have you heard about the S&P, not 500, the S&P 493? Because if you strip out the seven biggest stocks in the S&P 500, these incredible return numbers that we've seen over the last year get, get neutered all away. The, the other 493 stocks in the S&P 500 have barely gone up 4% this year. We're living in crazy times when seven stocks can account for such a lion's share of both the market capitalization and the returns for our biggest segment of the stock market. It's going to continue to be interesting. Let's pull it all together and see if we still feel optimistic about our friends, silver and gold. We know to watch what the Fed does, not what they say. And remember, what we're getting from them recently is just a bunch of talk. Gold and silver are still hanging in there pretty darn well. And when more of the people, more of the sheeple, as we sometimes refer to them, wake up to the fact that the Fed can't really fight inflation with any real tools going into the next year or two. When people wake up to higher inflation and lower economic growth and they put it all together and realize that's stagflation, we could likely see the price of silver and gold skyrocket. And it's not just us that are thinking this. I'm hearing top banks from Europe. I'm hearing top banks in the United States calling for new all time highs in gold next year. And when gold gets to a new all-time high, when it gets above $2,100 per ounce, it's going to be clear sailing all the way up to $2,500 or $2,600. And you can only imagine what that will do to the silver price. I think we have good times ahead. I'll be here for you through it all. Hey, I don't have a crystal ball. You know that. But when we look at the big picture, when we look at the, the forest through the trees, we can see a bright future for silver and gold. Hey, if you want to grab yourself some silver or gold, it's time for the commercial. Pimbex, right there. They're a sponsor of my channel, and I have purchased silver and gold from them in the past. I trust Pimbex. I'd recommend you check them out. What you'll find is the best prices, the best service, and a family-owned operation. You can call them on the phone, ask questions. They're there for you all the way, step by step. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.